Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making such a favorite for this time of year. It's snowy. I'm looking at snow right now throughout my window in Pittsburgh. And so this recipe has been one of our all-time favorites. It's our easy no chicken noodle soup. It brings you back to that childhood nostalgia of when you were sick and maybe when your parents made you this warm soup. Um, it has all of the texture and feel and so we just love it and it's simple. So if you have kids, if you're not feeling great, if you just love how chicken noodle soup used to taste, this recipe is for you. Um, before I jump into it, I have two announcements. The first one is that I actually started a live or a private uh, Facebook group. So you guys can check that out. I'll have the link down below. It's just a place for you to get more inspiration. I'm going to post more of what I eat in a day over there. Just you know, support system no matter where you're at in trying to make more plants the center of your lifestyle. If you're just starting, if you've been doing this for years, it's just going to be a great group. So make sure you check that out. The second thing is that I will have all the measurements and everything for this recipe on our website. So that's also linked below. So let's jump into the ingredients. Super simple. Chopping the vegetables is actually the hardest part. So you know it's easy. I have one cup of chopped carrots one cup of chopped celery, one cup of chopped red onion, see it's all the same, very easy to remember, <laughs> two cloves of garlic that I've minced. Um, I also have our seasonings over here, so it's one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried parsley. I have one tablespoon of lemon juice, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of white miso, some black pepper to taste, and then I have um, four cups of vegetable stock, and you can make it at home, super easy. Eventually, I'll have a video of how we make ours at home, but four cups of that. And then I have some optional ingredients. So for the no chicken part, we really like using shredded soy curls, which is how what I'm going to show you today. Um, if you are somebody who can, cannot do soy or you want a different option, um, Canned jackfruit is really great too. You can actually find it at Trader Joe's in a can. I think our co-op also sells it in Pittsburgh. Um, but what I do is I just open the can, drain off the liquid, rinse it really well, like rinse it and then rinse it and rinse it again. Um, and then you just can shred it and you can add it in when we do the soy crawls. If you, those are two great options. You can also just leave it out. And you can also add just like beans instead of either one to this recipe. I love it because this is just a great vegetable soup. And then you can make additions to make it really easy. So I have a cup of soy curls. And soy curls are just dehydrated soybeans. We get ours from Butler um, soy curls. And I get them on Amazon. They come in this nice package. We buy it in bulk. And I just took a cup of those. Filled the rest of my measuring cup with water so they're rehydrating and we're going to use them in a little bit. But if you've never tried soy curls, they're kind of the same texture as chicken. And just like if you've ever cooked with tofu, it's really whatever you flavor it. So we make barbecued soy curls. We make, um, we put soy curls in maybe like an Alfredo pasta dish. Whatever you could pretty much do with chicken, uh, this is a great substitute. And so if you've never tried it. It's kind of a game changer, so you might want to check it out. For the noodle part, what I like to do is I like to make this separate, so I'll boil a small pot of water and cook up some noodles. You can do any kind of whole wheat noodle that you'd like. I have some buckwheat ramen that I'm going to use for this, um, and it's nice that this actually comes in like prepackaged sections for this, so I can just make one of these for my dish or make it whenever I just want noodles, and I just add it in at the end. So whatever pasta you're gonna use to make this a noodle soup, go ahead and make it on, just follow the directions, make your pasta, and then you can add it to your soup as you'd like. I like to keep the soup kind of free of the pasta, don't put it in and just set it aside because it'll just suck up the vegetable broth, and so you don't wanna, you wanna combine it right before you're gonna eat it. Don't put it in during, because. That whole wheat noodle really does suck up any moisture or liquid. So that's kind of a tip. But these are all optional. Like I said, you can just make the soup and then kind of tweak it. But the shredded soy curls make it a perfect no chicken substitute and still whole food plant based. All right, we're going to get started. Um, I have my soup pot right here. I'm going to add in my red onions. 
kind of nice because you're just like dumping and going. Um, the celery and the carrots and even that minced garlic, it all goes into the pot. We're going to move over to my um, stove top and I'm going to show you guys how we cook it. But this is such a fast recipe. So perfect for like a day, maybe you don't feel like cooking or you're not feeling that great or you just want a warm soup to have in your refrigerator. I have this generally on hand all the time throughout winter and it's been a favorite anytime I brought it anywhere and people are kind of shocked that it's not chicken and that it's sore curls because it's so good. All right, so I have all my vegetables in our pot. We're gonna move over to our stovetop. I'm gonna show you how how to put it all together and then we'll come back at the end and I'll show you how to do the soy curls and the noodles and kind of assemble but it's super easy. Once your pot is on the stove go ahead and put it on medium high. We're going to add one cup of the vegetable stock. We want to bring this to a simmer and really cook the onions until they're translucent. The whole amount of time that we are cooking our vegetables on the stove top is around 20 minutes um, but this first step is really just to make sure that everything comes to kind of a simmer and that again the onions are translucent and we kind of are starting to cook the celery and onion. After you see that the onions are translucent you can go ahead and add the rest of your vegetable stock and um, we're going to go ahead and continue on. So this is really such an easy recipe. We're really just looking that the carrots are pork tender at the end of this. Um, you can add your seasonings now and the bay leaves give that a nice stir. We're letting everything kind of marinate together, all the spices, while cooking those carrots and celery till tender. So really, again, this whole time really takes around 20 minutes. And you'll know that it's done when you're able to pierce a carrot with your fork very easily. And so I just let everything simmer until that point, And then you can pull it um, off your stovetop and move to the next step. But super simple and easy and really a quick way to make vegetable soup. Once the vegetables in your soup are fork tender, you can move on to add in, if you want to add in beans, or if you want to add in your soy curls or your jackfruit. Um, I'm going to use soy curls today, so I just took my rehydrated soy beans that are soy curls. I drained off all the water, and I'm going to shred them to make more of a shredded chicken. I think this is really nice. So drain off the water that you've had them soaking in, and then I'm just going to put half of the cup in. I like to do it half at a time. You don't want to put too much into your blender because it's really easy to muck up this recipe quickly for the shredded. You don't want it to be mush, mush. You want it to be shredded. So what you're going to do is on the lowest setting for only a few, only until it's shredded, you have to stop it right away. You're going to shred, shred it. It's super easy, but you can definitely turn into mush quickly. So half of that cup, one in here. I'm going to turn it on just for a, just for quickly until everything's shredded and then stop on the lowest setting for my high speed blender. Perfect. So I now have shredded soy curls. It's so easy. What you could do to make this taste even more like chicken is you could get some poultry seasoning and kind of rub it into the soy curls. They're still wet because we had them soaking, so they will take on whatever rub you put on. So you could rub them, and then you could even um, saute them in a pan and then add them to your soup for even like extra flavor, or you can just dump them straight into your soup. It's kind of your own preference. The poultry seasoning, like I said, adds a whole another kind of element of flavor if you decide to. I'll put it as an optional um, tip in our blog post, but you can see that it comes out and it's kind of freaky how much it looks like shredded chicken. And so now what I do is I just go ahead and add it to our soup. Um, I'm going to stick this back onto our stove and heat it probably for another, I would say another like 10 minutes on simmering. The I want to make sure that the soy curls are cooked through and warmed through. So just a little tip. We're going to cook this for just a little bit longer if you add it. And I won't show that part on camera, but I'll also have it always in our recipe to do because not everyone might not use soy curls. If you're going to add the jackfruit, you can just make sure that your soup is nice and warm and you can eat it right away. All right, so in goes the rest of our soy curls. 
that I want to shred. Super easy. We love soy curls here. All right, that's it. Another thing I'm going to add in now is um, right before I serve a warm soup, I like to add the miso in. So I don't like to add it to the boiling water because it does have some good probiotics that you don't really want to kill off. But to warm soup, it will still dissolve. So I'm going to heat this for probably 10 more minutes on a low simmer just so everything's really cooked through. Then when I pull it, just while it's kind of warm, kind of like how it's right now, it's not boiling, I'll go ahead and add our miso at the last step and our black pepper. And the miso and black pepper you can really do to taste. The miso is a salt substitute, so you can leave it out completely. Um, and if you use salt and pepper, you could do that at the end. But we use miso here, so I like to add that in to kind of a warm dish, and then it'll dissolve. And then I have my um, buckwheat noodles already cooked, so then I can just assemble my soup and it's ready to go. But this looks fantastic. I'll post a picture on the screen. Like I said, I'm going to go heat this for another 10 minutes. I'll see you when it's all done. We're going to assemble my bowl, add the miso in, and try it on camera. But it's such an easy no chicken noodle soup. And I just went ahead and added how many noodles I want to my dish, mix it all up, and it's ready to eat. This is such a delicious, hearty soup. Going to replace that chicken noodle soup that you were so familiar with and still give you all those great flavors and textures. I'm excited. Still really hot. You literally can't ask for better soup. The flavors and the textures are just so perfect. Mm. So we're gonna go enjoy this. Another tip we do is sometimes we'll serve it over like a whole grain to beef up the meal a little bit more if we're not, if we're having it like as a meal. This typically makes enough for four people um, to have a really big bowl, four to five people I would say you get out of it so you can double the recipe. Um, yeah, and we just love it. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe. I make new whole food plant-based videos every week usually two a week, and um, they're always oil-free and delicious and easy. So I'd love if you could help support us by subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Join our new Facebook group, and I'll see you guys very soon. But thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go enjoy my soup. So good. Mm.